Good afternoon ladies and gentlemen, your boy Virtus here and welcome back to my Unreal Engine 4 Blueprint tutorial series. In today's video we are going to be showing you how you can use the switch on integer node to control the flow of your code inside of Unreal Engine 4. Now essentially what this switch on integer node is going to do is essentially run a different piece of code depending on the value of an integer and there's lots of situations where you might want to use this. So one example would be is you're at the start of a wave based game mode and you want to tell the engine how many enemies to spawn and you could do that by spawning in the different types of enemies depending on the wave number and that wave number would be an integer and you'd have it in there. So you would have a pin for wave 1, 2, 3, 4 and so on just telling it to do different things for each of those waves. Now there is loads of other scenarios that you could use that, that is just one simple example and it is also going to be a very important and very common node that you are going to use inside of blueprints. Now what I'm going to do is show you one way that we can sort of set this up and use it. Now what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to set up a switch on integer node and hook it up to an input. And what I'm gonna do with that is a couple of things. So what I'm gonna do is use an input that's already set up. I'm not gonna create one as part of the project settings. Instead, I'm just going to uh, go to right click and then I'm gonna scroll down and I'm gonna find my inputs. And then I'm just going to get a keyboard event for the letter B. And what I'm going to do with this is I'm going to use the switch on integer node. And you can just right click and type in switch on integer to get this. Hook this up to pressed and what it's going to do now is fire off a different uh, a different thing depending on whatever the integer is at the moment. Now by default you've got two pins on here, selection and default. Now the selection is where you're going to be putting in the input for your variable. Now what I'm going to do with this is because I'm currently inside of my tutorial character, what I'm going to do is just create a new variable for this and I'm going to call it, I'm going to call this switch test. At the moment it's currently set to a boolean and you can see that in the top right hand corner. I'm going to set this to an integer value and compile this so that I can actually work with this. Now by default it is set to zero and that's all good. So what I'm going to do with this is hook it up into my selection. And then if I go ahead and add some pins and each time you press one of these it's going to make a pin and what it's going to do is fire off four pieces of code or potentially fire off four pieces of code. So if switch test is equal to zero, it's going to do whatever is connected to this execution pin. If switch test is equal to one, it's going to do whatever's in this execution pin and so on and so forth. So what I'm going to do to show you this quite simply is I'm going to print a string and I'm going to have four of these. So I'm just going to make some space, move this back a little bit, and I'm going to have each one of these going into a different print string. So the first print string is going into zero, and then one, and then two, and then three. And all I'm going to do here is if it's equal to zero, I'm going to tell it to print zero. If it's equal to one, I'm going to tell it to print one, two, and free and it's entirely up to you. Now because our switch test is currently equal to zero, what it should do is go ahead and print the string with zero in it when I press B on my keyboard. So if I go ahead and compile this, give it a couple of seconds to load up, press B, you can see that it said zero. Now bear in mind it's still trying to run some code from some stuff we did earlier on so I'm just going to delete that so you can see this a bit clearly. This time I'm going to set this equal to 2 and then it's going to fire off whichever code is in here. So hit compile, press play and then just press B and you can see it says 2 and every time that I press that it is going to come out with that result unless you change that value. 
So hopefully you guys are starting to see what you can use this for. And if you watch some of my RPG and FPS videos, you're really going to start to see this come to use and you will come across uses where you're going to have to use something like this in your game. Um, but for now, that is pretty much everything that I wanted to show you. Once again, guys, thanks for watching. Stay awesome. Keep creating. Your boy Virtus, signing out. This video was made possible by my supporters on Patreon. If you want more videos like this, check out my Patreon page using the link in the description. To stay up to date on new releases, make sure you follow us on social media.